The Milne Bay Military Museum and its building, that is the drill hall, has a long history. The drill hall was built in the Newtown Park in Toowoomba in 1917. Its purpose was the training of the 11th and 14th Light Horsemen and as a recruiting depot before World War I. It went on to train hundreds of the Darling Downs soldiers for both world wars. This is a rare view of the parade of the Light Horsemen in the 1920s and gives an indication of their pride and joy, that is, their horses and their building. Later on in its life, it went on to become the headquarters for the 25th Royal Queensland Regiment and the unit was called the Milne Bay Training Depot. On the 1st of February 1991, the drill hall was the subject of a fundraising project to raise $75,000 to move it from Margaret Street to the new Army facilities in Oak Queen Street. The building then became the 25th Battalion Museum and eventually the Mill Bay Military Museum. It was said the museum would be for the Darling Downs military history including other units of the 25th Battalion and would also house items related to the military history in general, not just the 25th Battalion. The Red Baron's aeroplane is just one of the items that fits the new general theme. In the early 1990s, the museum was constituted as a non-profit organisation and renamed the Milne Bay Military Museum. Since then, many interior alterations and displays have passed through the Drill Hall. Also, it is now listed by the Army History Unit as the official 25th Battalion History Room. A part of the History Room is a display of the Roll of Honour for the Remembrance of the Fallen. One very popular recent display was the Women at War exhibition which was the theme for the 2007 Anzac Day theme. This was funded by the Battle of Britain display and the ladies featured once again. The Milne Bay Military Museum's last transformation was in mid-2007 when a general theme was broadened to military history of South East Queensland which represented the three services. The Tri-Service Museum today is visited by some 6,000 visitors a year and that is increasing. Presently the museum is undergoing a modernisation program with items such as paint furnishings and exhibitions. Colours now play a big part in the intrinsic value of the museum. The schools have also found this new theme interesting for their compulsory history studies. So much so that the seventh year students of the Newtown State School have adopted the Milne Bay Military Museum where the students assist with the museum's work as well as they are able to visit freely for their studies. The students of this school, like the other schools, are the future custodians of the museum and our community's social and cultural history.